Hello everyone, kumusta? It's Ligaya and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the very last episode, well, the last gameplay episode of Not So... What? No, not Not So Very, but I mean the Black Widow challenge. What is wrong with me today? So our Black Widow is just cooking some stuff, baking, I guess. She is just baking some cupcakes because later today there's going to be some event. Actually... This episode will consist of about three events. Her schedule is so packed because starting from today, there's gonna be an engagement dinner. On Thursday, there's going to be a rehearsal dinner. And on Friday, there's gonna be a wedding ceremony starting at 1am. And after that one, there's gonna be a reception. And then next up, we're going to be hosting a dinner party. So life is pretty hectic right now, however, we are so close. Only, yeah, this episode, I'm planning to complete everything, and on the next one, I will just do the proper ending for them. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. So a recap from the last episode, she got engaged to Lord Baldwin Romilly, and so far, these two have bad compatibility, however, they're still lovers. He is madly in love with her, he's mitten with her. And she pretends to be deeply in love with him. The guy, we took him hunting and also um, to a theater of some kind. Then it just started from there. The children, or the young adults rather, are also excluded from the ceremony because first, we don't exactly want them to be um, involved in all of this. We're trying to keep them safe, so nope, we're not gonna do that one. They'll stay here until we have to leave, much to the chagrin of this. Wow! <laughs> I just watched Bridgerton, I'm sorry. Okay, but much to the um disappointment of Rainey's Theo, 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 you are also engaged, but your turn will come. I don't really know how to get rid of this acne. No matter what I do, it's still there. It's still there. I don't know how to get rid of it. It's almost like they're acne scars now. The children also need to stay here and we have to entrust the money to them. We're only going to be bringing 267000 to that place, to our new husband's home and entrusting them the 3 million because we can't exactly quietly bring this there. So we can't offer any explanation as well as to where we've gotten this money. So anyways, yeah, they can take care of it. I mean, it's 3 million dollars, but... They're three grown children. They're young adults now. Surely they can take care of it. It will be starting at once, so we may as well just put this ones right here. Um, we still have some pot rose from last, yeah, last celebration really. And also this flirty heart cookies and also this cupcakes. This event is mostly just desserts. Yeah, I'm gonna opt for... Yeah, no celebration fees at all whatsoever. Just dancing, having toast, drinks, and then desserts, and that's it. I didn't know that cats can be entertained by two people at once! That is so cute! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like they're fighting for the cat's attention. Yeah, see? So cute! <laughs> We are in this activity trying to look our best, trying to also act our best because because the circumstances of this marriage is not exactly, well, it can be considered scandalous. We got, because we're marrying again scarily um, fast. <laughs> also, the matter of our relationship with Lord Baldwin is... It's questionable because he's marrying again. He basically divorced his wife for her. I was gonna ask like where is her husband to be but he's actually right here. He's still sad about the divorce but it's fine. <laughs> it's like normal sims reaction. Meanwhile, she's just charming the guests, entertaining them. Well, this is kind of like everyone that we know. She absolutely looks like a queen in this dress. And I do want her to showcase her skill when it comes to piano. This is supposed to be our pianist but... Bernice, you were too late. We do sound good. It's been a while since we've practiced. Actually, we are at what level right now? We're still at level 6. I didn't know that. I thought we were close to level 10, but... Yeah, it's perfectly understandable. It's been so long since we've touched a piano. I truly think that they have gotten this one backwards, but you know what? They are very cute. What? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so dancing is checked out, and I feel like you guys have to make some toast. So while you dance right over there, I will request him. Right, request a toast from Lord Baldwin, and also we're gonna give a toast right after. So yeah, let's have a toast right here, you guys. I don't honestly know what people say when they're toasting, but he seems a little bit unsure. I think he's still um weary about the gazes of the other people. The judgmental gazes because he just got divorced and then he's getting married to a widow. Like, look at how uncomfortable they are. Must be also because he's just a bad like toaster in general. What about her? Okay, she's so confident. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I also, I love, I just love, love, love this dress. It's such a pretty dress. And there goes everyone. Yeah, she is so charismatic. And I feel we just have to end this one, right? Because tomorrow as well, there's going to be another one. I feel like it is a reception. But there is going to be a rehearsal dinner wherein... We have to have a celebration feast and some drinks. And again, I'm just gonna be hosting it right here. Also, she would just have to go because she still has to cook for tomorrow. It's so cute that they came to meet her. And you know, right, that we have better sweaters for you, right? Right, right? You know that? You don't have to wear this ratty shirts. Okay, I think he quite likes it anyways. <laughs> so we just skipped to the next day because it was very boring. All she really did was cook, cook, and cook for hours. And I'm letting her do this one alone because for dinner parties, actually, you would have to... Your Black Widow is what I meant to say. They would have to be the one to cook for everyone. And they shouldn't really be hiring anybody to help them. So Valentina, also there's that matter with you and the person you're gonna be cheating with. We met him last episode. We do perceive him as attractive. So I was thinking of inviting him to, to the party if he's not already there. So let us just go ahead and see. Okay, so he was the first one actually. And that's just very much perfect. <laughs> Him being invited is gonna make things easier. However, he also has a wife, by the way, who goes by the name Gloria. So Gloria and George, is that how I'm supposed to pronounce it? But yeah, Gloria and George are gonna be joining us and we'll try to be as discreet as possible. They're reading the same book. Love that. Then I'm also thinking that what if we just meet the person that we're gonna be cheating with and also there's some bills 184 Oh, yeah, we don't actually use like electricity in this house except for the stove and such But can you really consider them as electricity? Not him waiting for his man. I want to show you how much I love you. Do you want to make love? <laughs> of course <laughs> But pay the bills first like you have to did you already do it? Okay, there we go. She's gonna act like, oh hey, I did not notice you here, which is why he's even waving in the first place. And then he already took that one as a sign that he's flirting. And oh my gosh, Miss Agnes, are you kidding me? I'm not cheating on my um betrothed, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not cheating my fiance. That was just a big misunderstanding. Should I take care of Agnes Couple Bottom? She already knows. She might tell someone. Ay, ay, ay. I am so sorry to do this to you, old women. But, yeah, you gotta go. Because, ma'am, why did you even have to be so nosy? And you must know what we are gonna do. She is so pissed about that purse. <laughs> What's in that purse? Whatever it is, it hurt. And this Couple Bottom, this surely is gonna hurt. So call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is this so fun? So boring! <laughs> She's saying it's so boring. Wow. And look at what you did to our cloak. It's so bloodied now. Good thing we have this. Magic scrubber something something. And hey Grim, it's been such a long time since I've seen you. And by long time, I just mean like a few days ago, <laughs> a few episodes ago. But yeah, just take care of that and we'll be off so that no one can see us right over here. It's so pretty though. And she's still breathing. Are you sure she's dead? Are you sure she's gonna... Okay, she is. I really just wanted to confirm. Should I just leave her here? You know what? 
Yeah, sure, I have enough urns in my inventory. Firstly, why are you here and why are you like blue? You cannot die, okay? Wait, you already have your... What is happening? He's already dressed on this outfit. It's his cold weather outfit. Please don't die. Is this crumple bottom karma? Where are you going? You're gonna die. No, 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 no. I asked him to warm himself. Excuse me. Excuse me. If he dies, I... Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna say first. I'm... I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm shook. What's wrong with this man? If it were not really for the money, I would be... Oh, okay. Where is he? Oh, he's blue. Wait, he's not blue anymore. Where are you even going? Should I? What is happening? <laughs> no, where is he going? There's like a heavy snow outside. What is up with this man? You know what? You're on your own now. I'll just see you, I guess, at 5 p.m. I mean, it's the start of our... Ooh. It's the start of our dinner party. And hey, what's up, Valentina? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Um, I... Yeah, this is one of his friends, so no. I feel like they're trying to trap me or something. I was like, what is this? Is this an elf? No, what is this kid? <laughs> no, I really thought that it was like a kid bloodied. I was like, did you kill someone? Because also because of this. What's happening with my game now? I feel like it's really time to end this. And if you see something like this walking towards you in the middle of the snow, what would you do? Like, what would you do? What's your first instinct? Ah! Ew, ew, ew. Okay. <laughs> It's just a kid, I know, but still. Ronald McDonald kind of freaked me out when I was younger, so please understand. Then they're asking her if she would like to have a donation or like give a donation to the charities, so I'm gonna say yes. It's a thousand simoleons, so yeah. We're already here, and it seems like George is sneaking out downstairs. Should we follow? Wait, what are you doing? He's just gonna light this up. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I'm just gonna be a good host at first. I'm gonna give my first dose and also like ask everyone to please eat. Call attendees so that we can eat the food. Oh, by the way, that's not your gown. What makes you think I would put you in that when we have something like this? I'm absolutely having fun giving her these makeovers and whatnot. I just feel like she suits it so much. Like... <laughs> She's so pretty. I also love the pearl necklace. But look at the way he looks at her. Oh, they're just sharing a kiss. Yes. In front of their guests. And look at that. A mistletoe even if it's not Winterfest just yet. Cuties. Is this drink supposed to be... Is it supposed to have that effect? It seems like she doesn't like it. Every time she takes a sip. She does not like it. Is it like that? Or does it have to do something about this being his ex-wife? She's really the one who's like serving us. Girl, are you trying to poison me? And oh my gosh, while her husband is entertaining the others. She made herself comfortable right here. And George is just gonna follow. He already slipped out. Oh my god, I'm sure he's never gonna know this. Oops, they're gonna do their little first kiss. He is so easy, to be honest with you. Watching Wicked Women's Woohoo's while they still have their dress on is like the oddest thing ever. I don't even know what I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> we better hurry up before he notices. Oh no, it's done, girl. I don't care what you're doing right over there. Just stop it and come back here, okay? Like, come back here. Oh no, wait, uh... <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? You guys, where's your freaking bathrooms? You have this big ass house and you don't have a bathroom. Are you? Okay, I was just lying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, don't go there. Don't go there. You're gonna show everyone your face. No, you cannot. Girly. No, just stay there. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. No one noticed. No one noticed. It's fine. No one noticed. It's just, um... 
whipped cream yes not her sitting down in front of her as her soon-to-be husband he did not see he did not see it's just whipped cream we have a cake in here that is um the same flavor yes yes <laughs> Oh my god, why are you being so messy? Come here and like take a bath, my gosh. It seems like he is gonna leave now, and so is she actually. And before she goes though, she would just like to give him, leave him with some kisses. Even the children are already awake as soon as we got here. Not to mention we still have to prepare for the food for tonight. It's so exhausting on her part. But after all of this, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be done. I feel like I'm just gonna create like one dish for today. I feel like I'm gonna create like an herb roasted turkey and then some cake and that's it. Because we're still going to be hosting a dinner party afterwards. And please let it only be a light snow. Her children know that she does have to leave again. However, they're only asking her to not take too long because they really can't wait to get away from this place. And that's her goal. She promises that she won't take very, very long. And what should we do with this cow? Should we just sell it? Trade it even? Give it to a proper person that we know would take care of it? This is why I did not get chickens. <laughs> But we really can't take you to the world that we're gonna go to. And the event is gonna be starting in one hour. Yes, finally. This is what I've been waiting for. Let us also not forget about the food. Yeah. Wait, why is there only seven left? You idiots. Oh my gosh, seven left. Yeah. It's a great thing that I've also roasted some turkey. Please, I just need an actual winter day that is not freezing that is not maybe just some light snow light snow is okay and yeah let me just gather everyone right over here how about i ask you guys to take your seats at this one yes this is it and it looks amazing you know what i will do let me just do this okay gameplay i feel like it's on environment enable temperature effects on sims yeah no let's let's avoid that disaster and why would i enable temperature effects on when her dress is this gorgeous if you would just like put down the phone that'd be perfect like this wedding would be perfect if you guys have no phones and didn't i tell you to go sit down not on the aisle what the heck is happening not you being going on the opposite direction honey no <laughs> oh my gosh walk down the aisle please okay thank you very much but like why are you there i don't understand i'm just gonna ask them again please take a seat yeah take your seats it's not that hard okay now that's just too much <laughs> that's just being dramatic ma'am at least we can just exchange vows and kiss all right spousal kiss also do the spousal kiss last time we got married this was not checked off for some reason and immediately there's vows oh my gosh <laughs> usually they would take such a long time i shouldn't have spoken too soon because somehow they're freezing and it's not because of the weather you want me to take a photo oh my god speaking of a photo i wanted like i wanted like a painting for them today this venue looks absolutely gorgeous though and even if the green thing is not a color for this season well not really season but like on this world it still looks good on her yeah the dress is still it's still looking so amazing so i feel like you've already exchanged too much of your vows it's time for us to exchange our rings and then where is our freaking spousal kiss oh okay he's gonna give her one too usually it's just like one person who's gonna give the ring oh okay not what i envisioned it to be but all right and there was that our spousal kiss finally it's checked off okay so now we can have speeches and then blow some bubbles so i'm gonna have everybody blow some bubbles right here have guests blow bubbles love that for you only one blue bubbles really guys really do you really hate this match so much and what is this no 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 she was gonna kiss him oh my god oh my god what is wrong with you girl she was gonna kiss george as well 
what the heck that was the been the scandal of the season of the season <laughs> of the year not in the open dude we were on our wedding what are you doing she looks taller than him and there you go i gotta admit winter weddings do look so lovely i still could not believe that he attempted to kiss her earlier like why is he being so messy also we do have some chairs here and some table please do not tell me you're gonna go here but i feel like you were the last one who had actually painted our portrait so maybe i would just love to move in move you in to our active household yes because i do want you to paint us after much thought, I realized that recording up until the dinner party and killing him would just make this video too long. So I will just be ending this episode right here. And on the next one, we will see Valentina moving into the Romilly estate, hosting a party, and then it's just going to be our series finale from then. So I feel sad, but it feels good that I get to accomplish something that I had loved doing for so many months now. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting this series. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye!